Welcome to your yoga practice. For today's class, we'll be doing a short meditation. So as you prepare yourself for your practice today, get what you need for class, making sure you have your yoga mat, maybe two blocks or a chair, and perhaps have a blanket, or you can even have a bolster or a pillow to sit on for your meditation. Or if none of that's available, perhaps you can lay down in a supine position for your meditation. When you're ready, please come to the center of your mat. Have a good seated position. You can cross your legs in Sukhasana or Siddhasana. Take your fingers next to your hips, lift up through the side body, lifting that heart space, maybe tone your belly, lengthen the tip of your tailbone. Good. Lean yourself forward. Maybe walk your fingertips forward. Lift those sitting bones off the mat. Excellent. Send them way, way back behind you, back and broaden so you come to the, the center of your groin. Excellent. Keep that. Lift your torso again. Come on back. Refine your position. Excellent. Shoulders come up to your ears. They float to the back of the room. They broaden and release down. Now tilt your chin. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. And maybe let your hands rest on top of your thighs. Tip of your fin index finger and thumb together gently with your palms facing down. And begin to follow the flow of your breath. For today's class, we'll be focusing on the breath. Especially the quiet, calming, cooling breaths. begin to allow you access to your internal self. As you follow the flow of your breath, go inside. Maybe begin to lengthen your breathing, especially the exhale. And if your mind begins to wander, come back to the breath. Sometimes counting the flow of your breath helps to keep you present on the mat. For some people that's agitating. Notice what works for you. A couple more rounds of deep breathing. Soften the skin on your face, especially the center of the forehead. When you're ready, bring your hands together in front of your heart space. Set an intention for your practice today. Take a deep inhale in, and as you exhale, press those palms together, sealing your attention, bow to your heart space. Lift your chin, open your eyes, release your hands. Let's start with a foot massage. So for today's foot massage, if you would, go ahead and lean back. Bring those feet out in front of you. Excellent. I'll be mirroring you today. So you can straighten your left leg, cross your right Foot, your right ankle over top of your left thigh. Good. And get to rub through the sole of the foot. Front to back, back to front. Excellent. Twist and pull each toe. Grab a hold of the big toe mound, a little toe mound. Separate the top of the foot. Keep it a good wiggle. Just opening it up. Release that. Interlace your fingers in between the toes. Circle the ankle. First in one direction. And the other direction. Come back to the center, wiggle the foot, pause here. And what I'd like you to do is actually begin to squeeze the toes to the fingers, then squeeze the fingers. Now squeeze toes to fingers, squeeze fingers to toes, toes to fingers, fingers to toes, toes to fingers, 
fingers to toes. Give everything a good squeeze. Now spread the fingers and the toes. Keep everything spread as you release the hand from the foot. Excellent. Take your hand to the top of the foot. Stretch the top of the foot. Then flex it going the other way. Rub through the sole of the foot again. Give yourself a clap. Then gently paddle the sole of the foot. Make a fist. Pound the sole of the foot. Noticing where you need extra attention. Grab a hold of the ankle. Shake it out. Grab a hold of the outer edge of the foot. Begin to open that hip up. Moving it back and forth. Come back to the center. Release it out. Bring the top of the leg bone back into the hip socket. Good. Switch sides. So the other ankle crosses over top of the knee or the thigh. You start rubbing through the sole of the foot. Front to back, back to front, pausing where you need extra attention, just noticing where it feels different for you. Maybe twist and pull each toe. Yeah. Lovely. Grab a hold of the big toe mound, little toe mound. Separate the top of the foot. Give it a good wiggle. Good. Thread the fingers in between the toes. Wiggle them all the way down. Excellent. Circle the ankle. First in one direction. Go the other way. Taking your time. Come on back to the center. Pause. Give the foot a wiggle. Now squeeze toes into fingers. Fingers into toes. Toes into fingers. Fingers into toes. Toes into fingers. Fingers into toes. One more time. Toes into fingers. Fingers into toes. Excellent. Now spread everything really wide. Excellent. Peel the hand away. Grab a hold of the top of the foot. Stretch it out. Flex it. Rub through the sole of the foot again. Especially the outer edge of the foot. There you go. Getting the entire foot. Give it a good clap. Waking up the parasympathetic nervous system. Paddle the sole of the foot. Make a fist. Compassion pounding on the sole of your foot. Excellent. Release that. Grab a hold of the ankle. Shake it out. Excellent. Grab a hold of the outer edge of the foot. Hug the shin in. Open that hip up. Release that out. Good. Top of the leg bone goes back into the sitting bones and cross your feet your second your your shins your second favorite way good fingertips next to your hips refine your siddhasana or sukhasana and we're going to do a mini pranayama practice with a cooling breath so it's hot out so sometimes it's nice to know what are the things we can do to cool ourselves off so for this breathing You'll end up curling your tongue. It looks like this. And as you breathe in slowly, you'll breathe in through the straw of the tongue. And you'll gently breathe out through the straw of the tongue. Now, some of you will not be able to do that. It's a genetic impossibility for some of you. That's okay. If you can't curl your tongue, an alternative would be to take the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth just behind the top teeth. And you can do your breathing that way. So when you're ready, find yourself sitting well. Soften the skin on your face. Close your eyes. Curl your tongue or take the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth just behind the teeth. And begin your cooling breathing. just as we did at the beginning of class. See if you can make your exhale a little bit longer than your inhale. See if you can relax into the position, releasing any tension. Couple more cooling breaths. And when you're ready, let that go. Blink your eyes open. 
And if you would please come to all fours in your tabletop position, put a blanket out for your knees, something to cushion your knees. Make sure you have plenty of space between your knees and your wrists. Widen your hands as wide as your sticky mat. And we're going to begin with a cat cow pose. So on an inhale, you're going to release your belly down to the mat. Lift your sitting bones in your heart space. And exhale, arch your back. And do that a few more times at your own pace, inhaling and exhaling. And when you're ready, please come back to the center. We're going to do thread the needle. So if you turn your right hand up, palm faces the ceiling, slide it past your left wrist. And release the top of the, the edge of the forehead, the, the edge of the head down to the floor. Don't collapse into the shoulder. Press that left hand into the mat and open your heart space. Good. Thread the needle side one. Come on back to the center. Switch sides. Turning the other palm up, threading it past that opposite wrist, activating the right hand into the mat. Take a couple deep breaths in and out. Come on back to the center, circle your hips. First in one direction and the other direction. Then untuck your toes, big toes together, knees apart. Send your hips back into Balasana child's pose. Release your forehead down. If your wrists are crabby, you can circle your wrists. Maybe circle one wrist at a time. Other wrist, both wrists, if that feels good for you. And when you're finished with that, stack your forearms or your palms, one on top together. Rest the forehead on top of stacked forearms. Take deep, full breaths. Following the flow of your breath, making your exhale longer than your inhale. Doing a great job. When you're ready, bring your hands out in front of you. Walk them forward. Press the hands into the mat section. Cup your fingers down. Lift your forearms. Come back to your table pose. Excellent. Slide all the way forward, chest forward. Coming up into cobra pose. Untuck those toes. Now, don't dump your weight in your lower back. Tone your belly. Lengthen your tailbone. See if you can grow long through the spine. Open your heart space towards the ceiling. Exhale. Come on down. Untuck those toes under. Come back into child's pose again. And one more time. Inhale, coming back to table position. Tuck those toes under. Send the heart space towards the mat. Slide yourself forward. Untuck the toes. Press those tops of the feet into the mat. Really activate your legs. Good. Lengthen the tailbone. Tone your belly. As you lift into cobra position, drag your hands back towards your hips. Open your heart space for a mini back bend. Excellent. Come on back down. Tuck your toes under. You can come into downward facing dog via table pose or straight into downward facing dog. Yogi's choice. Find your expression of downward facing dog. Keeping a long dog. Maybe walking your dog. There you go. Maybe even wagging your tail of your dog or if you'd like you can draw some crazy eights with your hips and come to a place of stillness good breathe inhale back to table position bring the right leg forward in between the hands you can use blocks if you need them good or lunge pose Torso is forward. Walk the toes of the left foot back so you have a little more space. Breathe. 
When you're ready, lift that back knee off the mat. Keep that left hand where it is. Take your right hand to your hip crease, shoulder up, back, and broaden. And open that top arm for a little bit of a twist. Squeeze your hips towards the center. Breathe. Come on back to the midline. Walk your hands in between your feet this time. Excellent. Knees off the mat. We'll be coming into lizard position. So if you'd like to use blocks, you take your blocks and you walk them forward and at an angle. You can be on the highest height, lowest height, or you can be all the way on the floor if that feels good for you. Resting on your forearms in lizard position. A couple deep breaths. Just prepping the body for meditation. When you're ready, release that back leg down. Keep the torso where it is. A couple deep breaths in and out. Make sure that front knee isn't collapsing in. It's going towards the center of that foot. Excellent. Good. Walk your hands back towards the midline. Keep your left hand planted down, right hand to the hip crease, shoulder up back and broaden on the left side. Take a mini twist. Excellent. See if you can lift that back foot off the mat, bringing it towards the buttocks. You can stay here. You can reach around, grab a hold of that foot or the ankle. Or just twist. Shake the skull back and forth. Breathe in and out. Doing a great job. Gently release that foot. Come back to the center. Yeah. Walk your hands around both sides of that front leg. Lift the back heel off the mat. Release your hands down on the mat. Step back into downward facing dog. A couple deep breaths in and out while you're in downward facing dog. Bend your knees. Come to table position. Bring the opposite leg forward. Hands to the upper thighs. Lift the heart space. We're going to come into half camel pose. It's a mini back bend. So if you're ready, inhale, lengthen through the upper torso. Bring your heart space towards the ceiling. Excellent. Take that right hand, sweep it up towards your ear and back behind you. It can come to rest on the back of that upper thigh, on your sacrum. Or if you'd like, you can reach back to that heel. Take the opposite arm towards the ceiling and then reach it towards the back of the room. Come on back to the center. You're doing a great job. Plant those hands. Step the front leg back to meet the back leg. Come into downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Remove that blanket. Inhale into plank pose, the top of a push-up. Exhale, come on down, chaturanga. Slide those forearms forward, inhale into sphinx pose. Tuck the toes under. Bring the hands back towards the midline. Send yourself back into child's pose. Come on forward into table position. Tuck the toes under. Walk your hands back towards your knees. Come to a kneeling position. Keep those toes tucked under in the back. If it feels good for you today, see if you can take your hips back towards your heels for stretching those feet. Good for plantar fasciitis. Tone the belly. Lengthen the tailbone. Inhale the arms overhead. Take a couple deep breaths in and out. When you're ready, please come back to a kneeling position. Untuck the toes this time. Maybe widen your knees. Hands to the hip creases, shoulders up, back and broaden. And this time you're going to sit back in between the heels for hero pose. If this is too much for you, you can sit back on a block. 
and just rest in hero pose for a few moments. Activate your cooling breathing. Dip your tongue out. Curl the tongue. And begin inhaling and exhaling. Making your exhales longer than your inhales. Couple more deep breaths. Come on back to center. And we're going to repeat that whole thing one more time on the other side. Don't worry, I'll talk you through it. We begin in table position if you need a blanket for your knees. Don't put a blanket down. Totally fine. If you need to circle your wrists or shake them out, do that. Stretching your wrists, the forearms. Good. Coming into table position, and when you're ready, taking your cat cow, matching your movement with your breath. Going at your own pace. And then when you're ready, you turn the Left palm up, slide it past the right wrist, but thread the needle on the other side, making sure you're not collapsing into the pose. Activate that hand. Good. Coming back to the center, switching sides, thread the needle other way. Couple deep breaths in and out. Hips stay stable, moving the torso. Get a good stretch. Come on back to the center. Maybe turn the left wrist up. Fingertips face you. Lean on back. Get a little bit of a stretch. Repeat that with the right wrist. If that feels good for you. And when you're ready, untuck the toes. Big toes together. Knees apart. Come into child's position. Balasana. Couple deep breaths in and out. You can stack your forearms one on top of the other. Stack them your second favorite way this time. Notice your breath. Notice your breathing. See if you can expand through your entire body, especially the lower back and the sacrum as you breathe. <sighs> Making space with the breath. You're doing a wonderful job. Keep breathing in and out. Walk your hands forward into extended child's pose. And now we're going to move into that flow from child's pose to cobra. So you come forward, you untuck the toes. You bend your elbows, bring them in towards the middle, and chest comes towards the mat as you slide forward. Tuck your toes under, press your feet into the mat for cobra position. Exhale, come all the way back into balasana. Breathe in and out. And let's repeat that again. Untuck your toes. Bend your elbows, squeeze everything in towards the midline. Heart space slides towards the mat. Untuck your toes, press your feet into the mat, activate your upper thighs, lengthen your tailbone. Lift into cobra position. Good. Exhale, come on down, tuck the toes under, press back into downward facing dog. Walk your dog. How's everybody doing? Beautiful. When you're ready, step that left leg forward in between the hands. Drop that back knee down onto the mat. Slide the knee back a little bit. Toes tucked under in the back. So you're in a low lunge. You can use your blocks if you'd like. Yeah, you make more space for yourself. Keep your right hand planted. Take your left hand to your hip crease. Shoulder up back and broaden. Lift the torso just a little bit. Good. 
Kidney lift that back knee off the mat. Reach long through that back leg. Straighten the knee. Now open the top arm up for a twist. Squeeze those hips in towards the midline. Two deep breaths. Come on back to the lunge pose. Bring the block in between the feet. You can heel toe, heel toe that foot out to the edge of the mat. Take the blocks and walk them forward and at an angle for lizard position. You can use blocks or not. Come to your forearms. Keep that back leg strong. Knee is working towards the center of that front foot. It's not collapsed in. Breathe in and out. Release that back knee down. Walk the hands back towards the midline. Lift the torso. Good. This time your right hand stays planted. Press it into the blocks. Left hand to your hip crease. Shoulder up, back, and broaden. Take that right chest wall towards the front of the room for a twist. Can you lift that back foot off the mat? Take that front arm, reach it around, sweep it back. Grab a hold of the foot or the ankle. Good. Coming into a twist. Opening up that quad. Breathe in and out. Come on back to the center. Release that front leg down. Thread your hands to either side of that front foot. Lift the back knee. Step back into downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Come to your table position. And we're going to do half camel pose on the other side. So you come to a kneeling position. Walk that right foot forward on the mat. Good. Maybe wiggle the toes forward a little bit. Square your hips off. Excellent. Inhale, hands to the hip, crease your shoulders up, back, and broaden. Lengthen that tailbone. Lift your heart space. Do not drop your neck so your head stays in line with your spine, long back of the skull as you begin to hinge forward. Keep your right hand where it is. Can you take that left hand and sweep it forward and all the way back? See if you can reach to the back of the upper thigh or maybe to the shin or maybe to the heel or the ankle. Maybe take that top arm towards the back of the room, half camel position. Couple deep breaths. If this is too much for your neck, you can hold on to the back of your skull. And give it a good cradle. Come on back to the center. Excellent. Plant your hands for low lunge. Take that front leg back to meet the back leg into downward facing dog. Remove that blanket. Good. Inhale into plank pose, the top of a push-up. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down into chaturanga. Untuck the toes, activate the feet on the mat. Plant the forearms for sphinx pose. Drag your hands and your elbows back towards your Midline, tone your belly, long, long lower back. Tuck your toes under. Slide your hands back towards your chest wall. And you come back through plank pose to downward facing dog. Please come to table position. Walk your hands back towards your knees into a kneeling position. Excellent. And when you're ready, send your hips back towards your heels, stretching the feet. Reach those arms overhead, shoulders away from the ears. A couple deep breaths in and out. When you're ready, come back to your kneeling position. Have a block if you need it. Untuck the toes. Make sure all five toenails are in line with the mat and active. They're really working. Hands to the hip creases, shoulders up, back, and broaden. 
as you sit in between those heels or on a block for hero pose. A couple deep breaths in and out. And when you're ready, please walk your hands forward. And I'd like you to get yourself ready for a meditation. If you have a blanket, it's always a nice thing to sit on for meditation. I'll be sitting on a blanket as you meditate. Or you can sit on a chair. Or you can lay down if you'd like for your meditation practice today. What feels good for you today? If you're in a seated position, refine your position so that it feels good for you. Tone your belly, lengthen your tailbone, shoulders up, back, and broaden. Tilt your chin, close your eyes or soften your gaze. Tip the index finger and the thumb together. The chin mudra, palms facing down. Close your eyes. Breathe. Sit with your spine easily erect. Inhale, letting the hips, thighs, and sitting bones become heavy as they sink into the floor. Exhale. Feel the breath gently lifting the spinal column up through the crown of the head. Inhale, letting the chest lift and open. Exhale, allowing the shoulder blades to release down the back. Inhale, and imagine the sides of your ears moving back just enough so your head and your neck feel aligned with your shoulder. Your chin should tilt slightly downward. Tip of the index finger and the thumb together in chin mudra. Palms down on your thighs. Maybe slide them towards your knees. Let your tongue rest on the floor of your mouth. Close your eyes. Notice as your awareness comes gently to the flow of the breath. So that breath flows in and out. Notice the sensations in your body. Let the inhalation bring your attention to any places in the body that feel tense or tight. And then with the exhalation, release any tension held there. Let the breath bring your attention to your shoulders and with your exhalation feel them relax. Let the breath bring your attention to your chest and your belly and with the exhalation Release any holding in those areas. Let it go. Inhale with the sense of allowing the breath to touch any places in your body that still feel tight. Exhale with the sense that your whole body softens and releases. Allow the breath to flow at a natural rhythm. Notice how your breath flows into the nostrils, the feeling of coolness. Flows in and down the throat, maybe coming to rest in the chest. And then flows out slightly warm as it passes up through the throat and out the nostrils. Notice the gentle touch of your breath as your attention gradually becomes more and more settled in the flow of the breath. The 
the thoughts arise, notice them with the awareness thinking and bring your attention back to the breath. As the breath flows in and out, you might sense the breath is flowing in with particles of subtle, peaceful light and energy. You flow in with the breath down into your body and out with the exhalation. You may visualize these light particles as white, or blue, or pink. You may simply sense them as waves and particles of energy. Sense the enlivening caress of the breath. Perhaps being aware of the breath filling your body with light particles. Perhaps feeling the touch of the breath as it flows in through your nostrils, moves down your throat and into your heart center, maybe even into your belly, and then gently flows out again. Come out of the meditation. Take a deep breath in and gently let it out. Notice how your body feels, how your mind feels, the quality of your energy. And when you're ready, if you're already laying down, you may stay there. If you're in a seated position, gently allow yourself to come to a supine position for Shavasana. We'll be taking a five-minute Shavasana. I'll be here, but I'll be silent as you go inside. Follow the breath. Please come to a supine position. your heels come towards each other, let the toes fall away from one another. You have a natural curve of your spine in the lower back, shimmy your shoulders under your heart space. Lift your chin ever so slightly and enjoy the depth of your Shavasana.
And as you're ready, follow the gentle flow of your breath back to the surface. When it feels good for you, begin to make small movements of your body just to not disturb the calm and the cool that you have created in your practice today. You're gently wiggling your fingers or your toes, circling your wrists, your ankles. Maybe gently reaching your arms overhead. Noticing how slow you can go. Take a good full body stretch. And bend your knees and roll over to your side. Remain there. Looking into the depth of your heart space. Thanking yourself for unrolling your mat today for coming to yoga practice. And as it feels good to you, begin to draw your knees closer to your heart space, continue rolling to the same side, using the strength of your arms to bring you back to a seated position. And as we did at the beginning of class, sit well, fine tune your body, maybe even cross your legs your favorite way. When you're ready, bring your hands together to prayer pose, Anjali Mudra, in front of your heart space. Recall your intention for practice today. Press your palms together and receive that intention. The invitation today as you take your yoga practice off your mat and out into the world is to notice the flow of your breath. You have the power to calm yourself, to cool yourself, to go inside whenever you need to. Simply by noticing your breath, using the flow of the inhales and the exhales to find your inner self. Bring your thumbs to your third eye. Hinge forward at your hip creases. Namaste. Come on back to the center. Release your hands. Open your eyes. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for being here today, everyone.